Last lesson of the chapter, horizontal and vertical lines. Basically asking you to graph the following equations, thinking about slope and y-intercepts, try an x and y table. In the first example, y equals 4. y isn't allowed to be anything else. It doesn't tell me what x can be, but everywhere I go, y has to be 4. If I do that, that gives me a line that goes straight across like so. And number two, x equals negative three. It doesn't give me specifications for y, but no matter what y I use, x has to be negative three. Looking at this, I have a pattern. When I have y equals, I get a horizontal line through that number on the y-axis. If I have x equals, I'm getting a vertical line through that number on the x-axis y equals 5, horizontal through y is 5, x equals negative 2, a vertical line through.